All right, guys, this is take two of setting up your smartphone, uh, Android smartphone, for uh, use as a web camera on your uh, desktop. Uh, previously, I had made a video and uh, outlined how to do this, um, but I was only capturing the web browser, and it, it would be good to actually include the, uh, the installation of the program as well. Even though it's only a couple of steps, and it's literally just next, 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 it gives you a visualization of what the app looks like while it's running, and, uh, and it is actually uh, running correctly for you. So uh, let's dig into it. Uh, just like last time, it will take only uh, a minute or two to walk all the way through this process to get you set up. So first we want to go to, and copy this here real quick, I'm going to go to www.dev47apps.com forward slash droidcam forward slash windows. Again, this is for uh, Windows and Android uh, connectivity. So, download droidcam client 701. And I want to run that as administrator. So, just right click on the application and here we go next I agree install and that portion is ready to go and next we want to go to the Google Play Store so play.google.com and we that is definitely not what we're looking for here. Let's try that again. Play.google. Oh, I know what I did. I did a double G instead of a double O. Silly me. Okay, so let's do a search for Droid Cam. And there are two versions. There is the standard Droid Cam and Droid Cam X. Droid Cam X is the paid version. has some extra features in it. I not really necessary for just a general setup that uh, includes things like uh, lighting changes, um, zoom in and zoom out. But if you're just looking to get uh, get, get your phone connected as a, uh, a webcam, the standard Droid Cam is just fine. Now I'm not logged in right now, so it doesn't show that I have it installed. But I do have it installed on my my phone already. So if you are you know doing this for the first time, you'll see the install. Just click install and then open. Uh, it'll, it will ask you which device you want to attach it to, or rather than doing it through the web browser, just do it directly on your phone, and then you'll just have the open button after you do the install. So I do have it installed. So let me go ahead and open up the desktop client now. And I have pre-populated it with the address that was on the phone the last time I, I actually connected it. And if you want right now, go ahead and open up the application on your phone. It will give you a, a screen similar to this with an IP address as long as you're on your wireless network. And once that's connected, you will take that information and plug it into the application. So I will check mine right now, which this should be it. All right, and it is. And when I click start, it should connect. Now, I will note that there have been some oddities uh, connecting. Uh, periodically, it will just say that it can't connect. And then after like two or three times, it, it, it does connect, even though no changes have been made. But uh, right now, it it is connected. Uh, I mean, it's on the wireless network. So it should go uh, through straight away. And there we go. So that's it. With this application running on your desktop, it treats your camera or your, your phone as a locally installed webcam device. So whether you're using, um, say, Skype, Viber, uh, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, Uber Conference, pick your, uh, your poison there. Uh, it will actually register as a, uh, a connected device and you can select that as, a, as your webcam. So uh, from uh, me to yours, have fun and uh, stay safe out there. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.